so welcome back so in the previous video we will discuss about the lathe machine tool so now in this video we are going to see about the uh, construction of lathe and along with the uh, major parts of the lathe that we are going to be discussing in this video so you can able to see the construction of center lathe we have taken an example is the construction of a center lathe so the major parts of the lathe are bed, head stock, uh, uh, carriage, tile stock and then a gear, uh, changing gearbox so etc like this we have in a different uh, major parts of the lathe machine so we are in a different parts only we have this have been we have been considered as some of the major parts where you can able to see this is a head stock where it, the head stock it has been connected to the live center so where we can able to move through this cross slide we can able to fix the workpiece in between this head stock and then a tile stock that what we have been seen in the uh, lathe machine tool and this is what we call it as in a tool post where we going to fix the tool so in between the live center and the dead center what the workpiece we have been fixed so in between that uh, what the workpiece we have been fixed so now we are going to place in a tool where this is what we call it as in a carriage so we can able to rotate either uh, towards the right or it can able to towards the rotate and you can able to see this saddle saddle is nothing but where you can able to rotate for the tool post for tool holder where which we have been placed a tool for the machining process where you can able to do and this is what we call as a guide base. So this guide base only gives the uh, rotational movement either we can able to rotate to the right or towards the left. So this is what we can able to see the speed control levers. So either to increase or the decrease the, the speed of the lathe, we can able to control through this speed controllers. And this is what the lead screw. So lead screw is nothing but we will be having a uh, pitch uh, lead screw. So this uh, whenever we are going to start uh, rotating this carriage, with the help of that lead screw only, it, it can able to move either right towards the right or it can able to move towards the left of the uh, lathe. So and this is the gearbox. So where the gearbox, the function of the gearbox is whenever you are going to increase or decrease the speed automatically inside the gearbox, the gear will, uh, the gear levers will shift from one position to other position either during the increasing or in the decreasing state. So next is lathe bed. So to, uh, whenever we are going to place or install a lathe on, uh, anywhere, first we are going to use as in a lathe bed. Why the lathe bed is? The lathe bed, we, we can install the lathe without the lathe bed also. But what is the reason is, whenever we are uh, running at an high speed, the, the lathe is running at an high speed. So the lathe is running at an high speed. So we can able to uh, provide the absorb, means it can easily absorb the vibrations. Otherwise what happens, due to the high speed, when the machine is running at an high speed, the more vibration will come into the picture. To resist that or to avoid or to observe that to vibrations, we are going to use the lathe bed. So base first we are going to fix the lathe bed on the lathe bed above the lathe bed, we are going to install the lathe machines. So and you can able to see other some of the other parts that is what we called a saddle, guide base, compound rest, live center, spindle, tool post, center lathe that is what we called uh, from the center uh, line of the lathe this is this portion what we call it as a dead center see this crop by using this uh, saddle we can easily rotate this towards or we can able to move towards this uh, center portion of the lathe and the bed so as we know that the bed is a function to absorb or to resist the forces which is acting and to absorb the vibrations which is provided in order to smooth functioning of the lathe machine that is one of the major reason is to uh, smooth functioning of the lathe machine so next one is about the uh, this is both the legs, cabinet legs. So above this we are going to place the lathe machine and transverse feed hand wheel and a longitudinal feed hand wheel. So these are the used uh, some of the other parts of the lathe machine where you can able to see the carriage. So these are the some of the major parts of the lathe machine. As we know that in the lathe machine we can able to do the so many number of operations. And it is one of the oldest uh, machine in the automobile in the, our manufacturing sector with the help of the lathe machine so we can able to uh, provide the or we can able to do so many machining operations uh, like if you take an example uh, facing turning knurling threading eccentric cutting uh, taper turning so like this different operations can able to be performed in the lathe machine so and the operation is also very simple so the it is not much complication like other machines so the operations or a machining process can easily easily can able to take place uh, take place in the lathe machines so the main major parts are head stock, tail stock, carriage, tool post. So these are the some of the major parts. So comparing with others, so these are the some of the major parts that has been mainly used in the tool post. Sorry, in the lathe machines. So now we are going to see the what are the functions of the different parts in the lathe machine.
yeah first is the function of the uh, majorly the function uh, is bed so the bed is major, usually made up of in a cast iron provides a heavy rigid frame on which the, all the main components are mounted so it is the foundation of the lathe and the remaining parts are uh, supporting only so the bed is majorly it is made up of in a cast, uh, cast iron provides a heavy rigid frame on which the all the uh, main components are mounted it is the foundation part of the lathe and supports are remaining parts so next one is about the guide base so the function of the guide base is inner and outer rails that uh, that are position machine parallel to assure the accuracy so whenever you are moving towards the right or left so with the help of this guide base only the accuracy of the movement will takes place so the next one is about the head stock so the head stock is mounted in a fixed position on the inner base usually the left end so the left end that is what the head stock will be fixed from the right end which is we can able to only using the check we can able to rotate the work so in the head stock the checks are fixed so one end of the work piece can able to be fixed on that so the main spindle projects out the head stock the head stock is where the checks are will be there so where we can able to place the or uh, to work piece so next the function of the gear box what is the function of the gear box so the gear box inside the head stock is providing the multiple speeds with a geometric ratio moving so the function of the gear box is inside the uh, it's stock that is it's providing in a speed so the function is to a function of the gearbox is to automatically it provide the multiple speeds whenever we are increasing or decreasing the speed automatically the levers will be changing inside the gearbox so the next one is about the spindle so the function of the spindle is hole through the headstock which the bar stock can able to be feed which allows the shafts on the headstock up to the two times the length between the lathe center and one end at that at a time so the spindle is where it can able to allow the shaft it uh, to move up to the two times of the length between the uh, lead centers so the function of the check so the function of the check is to allow the mount uh, mounting of difficult work pieces that are not round square or in a tri uh, triangular where it can able to be three jaw check or in a four jaw check this is what we call it as in a self centering or an independent check so the major function of the check is to This is the major function of an a check is to uh, hold the workpiece rigidly. Either we can able to use a three jaw check or in a four jaw check. We call it as in a self centering check or an independent check. So these are the functions of an a check. So next we are going to see about the tail stock. So the tail stock function of the tail stock it it fits on the inner base of the bed and it can able to slide towards the position of the head stock. That is the function of tail stock where it can able to move from right end towards the center of the lathe. So the function of carriage assembly is moves on the other ways used for mounting and moving the cutting tools. The carriage is it can is easily for use for mounting and moving for the cutting tools. The function of saddle is the saddle will be in the form of H shape. So it slides over the outer guide ways and serves as a base. So cross slide is so it can able to use the rotational to the cross slide whenever we can able to move from towards the right or left of the uh, guide ways to the cross slide. So the function of the cross slide is it is mounted on the saddle and enables the movement of the cutting tool so laterally across the lathe bed by means of a cross feed. So the cross feed and the depth of cut can able to give or can able to give with the help of the this sliding. So whenever we keep on increasing or decreasing the depth of cut with the help of the cross slide we can able to give the feed as the depth of cut. So these are the sum of the major uh, parts of the lathe machine and what is the function of that lathe machine. So that we have been uh, discussed in this particular video. So majorly is some of the major parts. So and not only the major, even the small parts also important. But uh, when we cons consider some of the major parts means, so these are the some of the major parts that we have been uh, using or we are going to discuss uh, discuss or what is the function of these uh, parts inside the lathe machine. So these are the some of the major parts around the functions of the lathe machines. Thank you.